So you want good takeout fried rice, but you're gonna spend eight dollars? When you can make all of this for about five dollars. That's like a dollar per serving. That's but cheaper. Fried rice commonly would get to go, take out, get delivered, but we're talking anywhere between eight to 15, maybe even $20, which is just wrong. It's something that can be done with leftovers and it's extremely, extremely cheap. And that is why it's on this episode of Butt Cheaper. Episode, I don't know. Yeah, hello, what, what episode is it? Ah! We figured out a way to get it essentially a dollar per portion. Now with that said, that's if you have the majority of the ingredients. If you don't have any of them, meaning you have to buy all the ingredients, then it's gonna be like $20 for all of it. And you'll then have all that stuff left in your kitchen that are usable through your time being alive. With all that said, let's, make this, shall we? Now look, we have an important conversation to have. Despite the fact that rice is considered to be one of the most inexpensive ingredients in the world, it can also be the greatest part of a meal by simply using proper technique. Now regardless of how you choose to cook your rice, do me a favor and wash your rice. I know I've complained about it before, but I'll complain about it again. So however much rice you're using, get yourself a metal sieve, place it over a bowl, fill the bowl with water, gently agitate in the water, drain that water, and repeat that one more time. Oh, that actually reminds me. The optimal choice for fried rice would either be a medium grain or jasmine rice, or my personal preference, which would be a short grain rice like sushi rice. I'm saying rice so much, I might as well just count the amount of times that I say it. So the first and most obvious method of cooking would be a rice cooker. It massively reduces the chance of error and cooks rice perfect every time. It's usually gonna be about a one to one ratio of rice to water. You'll put your rinsed rice in, your water, close the lid, and well, just press the start button. And if you have the same model as mine, you get to enjoy the song of its people. Now once that's done, fluff it up with a spoon and you have beautifully cooked rice. Now the second method is considered a mortal sin by many people, which is rice in a pot. To make that, you'll get yourself a medium sized pot with a lid, add in one cup or 200 grams of cleaned rice and top with one and a half cups or 350 milliliters of water. Place it on the stove, set the heat to medium high, bring it to a boil, then reduce immediately to a simmer, cover it with a lid and let it lightly simmer for 15 minutes, then remove it from the heat and let it steam an additional 15 minutes. You pop that lid off, Flip that boy up and well, that's rice. Now the last and final method, and this is like, if you just are praying for some other method of cooking rice, you don't have a pot, but maybe you have a baking dish. Get yourself an eight by eight baking dish and you're gonna add one cup or 200 grams of cleaned rice, spread it out nicely, separately bring two cups or 475 grams of water to a vigorous boil. Then pour your boiling water over your rice, cover it tightly with foil, place it in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Pull it out, take off the foil and look at that, you steamed rice in the oven. Now, weird, but it works. Now, since fried rice is commonly made with leftover rice, I'd actually recommend that you take your rice and then put it in the refrigerator and let it chill completely. Okay, thank you for your patience. Now let's make our fried rice. First, let's begin by making our scrambled egg. So get yourself three eggs cracked, season it to taste with salt, whisk them together, and then in a nonstick skillet, heat one tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter. You can also use oil. Once that's melted and bubbling, add in your three eggs and let that cook over medium heat, bringing in the sides occasionally until it's most of the way cooked. Give it a little flip, let it cook the rest of the way on the other side, then place it on a cutting board and give it a rough little chop. Now get yourself a small bowl, and to that you're gonna add one tablespoon or 14 grams of granulated sugar, three tablespoons or 42 grams of soy sauce, one tablespoon or 12 grams of white vinegar, give that a little whisk, three cloves of grated garlic, and a one inch knob of grated ginger. Mix all that together and place to the side. Next, begin heating a 12 inch skillet over medium high heat. Add in three tablespoons or 42 grams of a high heat cooking oil, like vegetable oil. Once that's nice and hot, add one diced carrot, let that cook and saute till it gets a little bit soft and starts to color. Then add in one bunch of green onions. This is just the greens that have been sliced into about one inch segments. Let that cook until those greens get a little bit of color, then add the whites of those same green onions, which have been finely sliced. You see, we use the whole thing. Nobody has to cry. Stir and let that saute for an additional minute or so. Then add in one cup or 135 grams of frozen peas. Now look, we don't want to overcook these. I'm tired of disgusting mushy peas. Just keep that on high heat and keep stirring just until they're hot, but still poppy. Then add four cups of cooked leftover rice. Now keep that pan ripping hot while stirring frequently until the rice is nice and hot and maybe you got a couple little crispy bits too. Then as your soy sauce vinegar mixture, turn off the heat and mix it all together. Once that's mixed, fold in your scrambled egg. Now at this point you're done. Optionally, you can season this with sesame oil and of course season it to taste with salt if needed. Now all this put together for one to two dollars per serving? Pfft, I think it's time for a taste test. So fried rice, we got it. It's, ooh, 
Little sound. One dollar per portion. If you want to make a big batch and you live alone and you're single and maybe sad, that's fine, but it'll make you happy that you didn't waste money. Meanwhile, somebody's gonna be like, I could just go to Panda. It's like three dollars. You could go to Panda, spend time driving there and driving back, so that's gas, grand total, still more expensive, and it sucks. This, on the other hand, for one, you made it and you can take pride in that. Depth of flavor, you got to cook a little. I mean, that's all I have to say. It's fried rice and it's cheap as hell. But cheaper! <laughs> this is rice. This is nice. I got dice. No, no lice. Rice is nice. It's no expensive. It's very cheap, then. <laughs> but do you want to know what else is cheap and full of rice? B-roll. Fried rice, dollar per serving, or like five, six dollars per serving if you had to buy everything, bleh, which is still cheaper than going out. Think, think about, think about that for a second. So I know that we've had like a lot of conversations about whether I should be in the cabinet, out the cabinet. This is your final opportunity. Comment, let me know. I felt like different series. We should be out here. I love my people so much. I got you a little dining set. Uh. Ah! If my neighbors are watching through the window, they're like, this guy, we need to call the police. If you want to see anything on Butt Cheap or anything at all, comment as well. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.